go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. Okay. You're starting. <laughs> you're starting, but before, but, but before that, you guys have got to get if you're watching this video, how much went into the back end of us setting up this <laughs> iPhone. It was a lot of work. It's a technical I'm just saying. production. So enjoy. Oh. And I have a fly in my wine. Oh. It's already a disaster. So <laughs> hey, Brendan, will you get the fly out of my wine for me? Sure. See, that's what you do when you're in a relationship, honey. <laughs> Lover. Hey, I'm just saying, if I'm gonna <laughs> if me? I'm gonna die, it's gonna be in a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, it would have to be a little bit bigger than a glass of wine, but <laughs> I'm with you on that too. <laughs> so, welcome to our relationships and money conversation. I'm Lauren Marie. This is my lover. Hi, everybody. Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> and our friends, Simone and Brendan. Hey, everyone. Hi, guys. So um, we wanted to talk to you guys about um, relationships and money and how... And helicopters. Helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys actually started doing... I don't know when you started, but um, you've been... Started what, Lauren? Started, <laughs> started what, Lauren? <laughs> yeah. um, going out on like date night and looking at your money and creations and finances and things, which has really inspired me and Dylan to have a look at what we're creating with money and in our relationship and do it in a fun way. So, um, and it's funny because we, we, we did that once and you were like, I love how you guys do that. I'm like, well, we learned we got it, it from, from you. you. And you're like, oh, really? <laughs> so. No, the first, I think the first time we did it, we went to one of our favorite restaurants, Wasabi in Noosa, and it was a Saturday night. So everyone's on their date night, you know, and we asked We're for- there big, with our laptops. Yeah, we asked for a bigger <laughs> table so that we could fit our laptops. No, I don't type like that. I type like this. <laughs> so that we could actually have the time with each other because that's one of the things too. I mean, even though you live together, it's you don't tend to find that time to uh, to work together on your finances. So we made sure that we put some time aside that was just for us to talk about our finances. In we just recently did it in Houston, actually, too. We went out to a really nice lunch, really nice wine, opened up our computers, and went through our finances again. So I guess my my hint would be find that time that's fun for you and your partner to talk about your finances. It should be a celebration. It shouldn't be something that you avoid. Now, Brendan, though, how, did you did you avoid yeah. it first off? So I mean. We're sitting in our beautiful house here at the moment, and we used to live in this uh, this apartment right next door. And we bought this house five or six years ago, and um, we moved in. And I I'd been avoiding money my whole life, so and I had these massive debts, which I didn't tell Simone about because I didn't really even they were that far out of my world that I'd hidden them that well that I wasn't even looking at them. And we moved in, and I said, "Oh, by the way, I have this tax bill." And Simone's like, "Oh, how much is it?" Uh, it's 220,000. <laughs> no, this was after we bought the house. After we bought the house, Not just yeah. moved into this house, after yeah. we bought it. And I said, isn't that something that you should tell the person you're buying a house <laughs> I with? Mean, I mean, I used to not open my mail because I knew it was a bill. And if I didn't see it, then who's going to know it's a bill? It's like, I avoided money that well. I would, if my, if my phone rang and it was a private number, I wouldn't answer it just in case it was the power company or the phone company or the tax office. So I'd have, I had avoiding finances down to a fine art. And when this came up, I think, you know, only a few years ago, I started looking at, wow, if I'm avoiding, if I'm avoiding all of this, how am I ever going to create money? And I started changing that. And that's when, you know, I, another, another quick story was we went and met with these friends of ours and they'd talk about money and I'd, I'd just be in the, I'd be wanting to kick them. Shut up. I don't want to talk about money. And now, I mean, we talk about, we talk with our accountant and I'm the CFO of, of Millis you know, what? Millis is what and access in Australia. So it's like, I, I love looking at finances now, but that's how much things change with, you know, stopping the whole avoiding of money. So I'm going to ask though too, what was the thing? What's the, What's one tool that you use to stop you avoiding it and start I, looking at it? Well, the one, the one tool I would say is choice. You have to go, you know what, I'm going to choose something different. And I'd gotten that used to it for so long that it was just, it, it was like you get so used to things that you don't even realize you're choosing them anymore because you're just used to it. You're just used to avoiding something, so you just keep doing it. So I looked at, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. And every time it would come up, I'd just go... I'm not going to do it. 
So every time I'd go to run away from the finance talk or, hey, let's look at our income, or I'd just be like, shut up, I don't want to look at it. Now it's like, yeah, awesome, let's look at it, and what would it take to have more? Well, I was so excited to like do what you guys were doing, so I invited Dylan out to dinner, and I was so excited. I had my laptop, I'm like, we're going to talk about money and what we're doing. And creating. I love that you guys have date night. Uh, <laughs> mo- what's it called? Money, money, money Monday. Monday. Money Monday. Hashtag so Money Monday. Awesome. But he um, was not so excited as I was the first time. I don't know why. That sounds familiar. Um, so Maybe it's a boy thing. <laughs> when I was like, let's talk about what we're creating. He was like, let me tell you all the things that I'm not happy with. And I'm like, well, this was not fun at all for me. So the first but one see was, you again next Monday. <laughs> yeah, see you next Monday. But she was great at manipulating me because the second time we went out better restaurant and we that's a girl thing went to a better restaurant and had better, you know, wine. better wine and better food and I started to really actually enjoy this and get a sense that why can I not have this all the time and me being there I think the energy was different than sitting at home or doing whatever so yeah it's. I mean, I love it now because you're actually looking at what you would like to create and how you can get there. And the stuff that we've been avoiding, like, I mean, he's, uh, it it went from like him sort of nagging, hey, have you filed your taxes yet? I'm like, no, you know, I haven't, you know, (laughs) to like, actually, okay, let's take this time for us and what what we're creating. And some of that is handling crap that you don't want to handle. Yeah. But it creates a greater future. And I love your manipulation with Dylan (laughs) of taking him to a nicer restaurant because it's like, do you like this? (laughs) You want more of this? (laughs) And I've got to say too, if you are the person who is more willing to look at the money and then your partner is not, uh, you've got to be in allowance. You cannot force anyone into looking at money. It's like, I know that I was in allowance with Brendan to choose it or not choose it. But it didn't mean that I stopped what I was choosing and what I was creating. Please get that. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know, have this place where you, you know, vibrate to where they're functioning from. I was being me and inviting oh, him to Oh, I'm glad you didn't future. vibrate to where I was <laughs> Don't glad, open mail, I'm don't glad, use the phones. I'm glad I came up and you didn't come down and that would have not been good. Was it, was well, it, and then now we create way more together than what we've ever well, created on our own. It's also this energy. It's sitting around. It, it's having this energy when talking about money that that invites it into your life. It's not going, oh, we have bills. Oh, no, how are we going to pay this? Let's sit down and have a talk. And, oh, my God, I can't believe this costs so much. It's, wow, I can't believe we're spending this much. How's it getting any better than that? And what's it going to take for more money to show up with the joy of it? Mm. It's like if you were joyful in asking for money, then how much more could you invite into your life? And one of the tools that we use pretty much every day is how many more revenue streams can show up in our life today. And it's not a, it's not a how as in, you know, what do we have to look for? It's like, who do we have to ask? It's literally asking the question so that you're demanding of yourself and requesting of the universe to assist you in having more revenue stre- streams, 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 <laughs> revenue streams <laughs> show up. <laughs> When I, when I was just thinking, when you said that, um, when Dylan and I first moved in, we got this, moved in together, uh, before we had the kids, when I was pregnant, we got this knock on the door and our neighbor was like, Hey, um, I think you lost this. And he had Dylan's wallet, which he had just like, like it had fallen out. And like Dylan used to take out of his pockets and just throw his money like on the counter or whatever. Like, and I was like, Hey, um, if you treated me like this, I would leave you, you know, (laughs) this is what you're doing with money. And, um. Uh, <laughs> recently we got this sort of refund check or whatever and I was like hey what do you want to do with it and he goes I want to buy gold and silver and I was like okay well you've come a long way from the guy who like would just chuck his wallet in the stairwell or, like lose you know money everywhere so and it's that's only been what two years or something yeah. so and if you have someone who just dumps their money on the kitchen bench <laughs> like Brennan does you know what you do you, you get it all and you put it in a big jar. That's what I started to do with all of his coins because he just leaves it lying around. Coins are annoying. <laughs> but then we ended up counting them and we had like, I think the first time we did it, we had like $1,000 or something. Yeah. And now it becomes this running thing. It becomes that we just put the coins in there. lunch money. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and, and toys for our kids to play with. Exactly. <laughs> Preston was just in there, went straight into our house, went to Brendan's jar and started taking out the money. Taking out, putting it back, yeah. taking out, do. putting no, it back, playing yeah. with money. What if you they started love. to play with money? What would you create? How would your life be different? Mm. 
and it doesn't have to be boring to you know deal with money in a relationship or or painful or no suck. no 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 <laughs> it should be fun and you've really got to be like i said before you've got to be in allowance with what is occurring and it's like it's those five elements of intimacy you know trusting honoring allowance gratitude vulnerability with the other person to and with money so that it can show up in your life from the sheer fun of it like lauren was saying it's you know we always talk about if you're going to have a party and you're going to invite people around you say well you can come but i'm going to abuse you when you walk in there's going to be no food there's going to be no music and you won't like the people around here and i'm pretty much going to want you to leave as soon as you show up it's like are you going to want to go to that party it's like no but that's what we do to money we say all right we'll show up but i'm going to spend you as soon as i get it and i'm going to abuse you because you're not enough i'm not grateful for what you know for what i did create so start to look at your life as a party with money and what would it be like? What choices would you make? What would you change? Yeah. Well, one thing for me is I'm so grateful for you and Brendan, Simone, is ever since I met you, like the relationship that you guys have, like I don't really have the words for it, but it's like you are like living it. You're walking, you're talking, you are having fun. And you're an example for me to actually know that a relationship can actually create greater because before I had met you guys like I didn't know that I could be in a relationship and have whoever I was in a relationship with contribute to my life and expand it and make it more joyful have more fun more money and more possibilities so thank you thank you we We like everyone around us to have more and as Gary Douglas says if you're going to be in a relationship you should be creating at least 20 times more than what you would alone so start to have a look at that and ask what else you could be creating. And it doesn't mean yelling. It doesn't mean forcing your partner to do anything. Like I said before, it means being in allowance mm-hmm. and getting to choose and getting to create together. Mm-hmm. So what would that look like for you? Yay. <laughs> Are we good? I yeah. think we're good. All right. I'm happy with it. All right. <laughs> oh, do you want to tell them about your calls coming up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a uh, relationships and money call, which is going to be really Which is why we're doing this video. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 It's a Sunday. Welcome. Sunday. It's after midday, isn't it? It's after midday. We've got our wine. Um, so <laughs> we're doing a relationships and money call. It's a three series telecall. So and we will talk about anything. Oh, so yeah. any questions you have, wherever we'll talk you, about Whatever you want. Yeah. It'll happen. And the first thing is, is change your point of view of whatever you think it's going to be like or whatever. We're not going to come to you with the answers of what you have to do. We're going to actually give you tools and processes so that you can choose to create a different reality. (laughs) (laughs) He will. Yeah, we will. We both will. (laughs) All right, guys. Is is it only for people that are in a relationship? No. money together? No, 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 no. It can be for anyone. I mean, you're in a relationship with you as well. It's like, how do you treat you with money? Like this morning... We were booking, well, Brennan was booking tickets and he told me about this ticket that I could fly to Rio, which is, I thought close to Rio was the other miles, side of the world. 800 like, hours from Australia. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's so far like away. Everywhere. But it was a cheaper ticket if I did a certain way, but it wasn't as nice a plane or a nicer, um, you know, what do you call it? Not uh, a, a bad plane in business class. And I said, I would rather spend 2000 more dollars to be comfortable and make myself happy. And I said, because that's what I would do for you. So, you know what, I've got to start doing this for me. Things so, have changed. Yeah, I know, huh? watch out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, how many of you don't spend money on you? So definitely, this is relationships and money is also the relationship that you have with you. Awesome. Yeah. Come play. Come play. Yes. <laughs> you're, the stop, you're the button stopper. Oh, I'm the button stopper. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Bye. ending, bye bye. <laughs>